When we think of Germany, we think of high quality engineering, BMW, Leica cameras, and of course, Heckler and Co. HK has brought us some of the most outstanding and iconic firearms known to man. Guns like the MP5, the G3, and the SOCOM Mark 23, all of which has made more appearances in video games and movies than can be listed. Quite recently, in 2014, HK made yet another announcement that set the world and the internet ablaze, and that is the VP9. Now, it seems like with every release of an HK gun, the hype just keeps piling on, and there's no difference when it comes to airsoft. So today, we want to see if the VP9 is solid hype or a solid pistol. Hey guys, today we're going to be diving into one of the most anticipated pistols of 2016. This is the Humorex licensed H&K VP9. Now the VP9 is the first striker fire pistol that H&K has made since the P7 and a lot of gun nerds out there know that's quite a long time so the hype behind this gun is pretty expected. Now what I have with me is the Asian version so you have all of the markings found exactly what's on the real firearm. The H&K VP9 logos, 9mm, made in Germany, everything you expect from the real gun transfers over to this Asian version that I have right here. The gun itself is a polymer frame pistol with an aluminum slide. At the front of the gun, you have these front slide serrations as well as a Picatinny rail for all of your lights and lasers. To the middle portion of the gun, you find the takedown lever right here and a slide release for the left side. You also have the magazine release that releases a fairly standard looking magazine. However, the finish on this magazine looks pretty decent. Very nice looking finish. The back also mimics the welding of a real magazine and that's pretty unique. From there, I want to show you the right side of the gun. Now this long lever is the right side ambidextrous slide release. And it works exactly like the real one. My only gripe though is it looks a little cheap, sadly, uh, and it's the only part of the gun that I don't really like. Now let's talk about the trigger. The trigger guard itself is quite large, so if you're wearing gloves or if you have big fingers, you're not going to have any issues operating it. The trigger itself looks strangely familiar to an other gun that starts with a letter G, and I think we all know which one that is. The feeling of the trigger, it's got about a medium take up. About a medium reset, very audible, but can't really feel it too much. Now, one of the more standout features of the gun itself is the grip. Now, with a lot of HK guns, the grips have always been a topic of contention. Either some people love them or they absolutely hate them. There's hardly any middle ground. But with the VP9, I think there's something for everyone here. Why? That's because they come with a few of these back straps and side panels for you to make the grip feel exactly how you want it to feel. Each grip panel is also slightly textured so it makes the grip quite comfortable in your hand. And exchanging them out, they're relatively easy and I'll show you guys later in the video. The beaver tail here is cut quite high so you can get a nice high purchase on the gun. The sights are your standard three dot sights and they're very clear and easy to read. The deluxe version also comes with glow-in-the-dark sights if you want to swap these out and put those in, it's easy enough to do as well. From there we move to the rear of the gun where there are two things that I do want to point out that make this VP9 quite special. Thing number one, on the slide you find these two paddles in the back and they assist with racking the gun. Now will they catch or snag on my shirt or on my plate carrier? I guess we'll find out when we do the shooting test. From there I want to show you guys this caulking indicator right here at the rear of the gun. Now if I caulk the gun, the dot comes out and if I shoot it, it goes away. So you always know when the gun is holstered whether you're caulked and ready to fire or not. Now to access the hop up, you eject the magazine, pull the slide back, pull down the takedown lever, slide the slide forward and the hop up is right there. 
Now before we get to shooting the gun, let's get back to the topic on how we exchange these straps and the side panels. So eject the magazine. You can use a small hex key to push out this pin right here. From there, you can slide the back strap out as well as the side panels. And you can exchange it for a different fit. Take the pin, put it back in. And there you go, you have exchanged the straps. Now I'm using my personal Kydex holster and coming in and out of the holster, the paddles don't snag on either my shirt or my STAC plate carrier. So I guess that answers that question for you. This gun works just fine and these paddles will not get in your way. Now, let's shoot the gun. I do wanna let you guys know that the initial rack of the slide is a little stiffer and the manufacturers wanted to make it that way so it gives a little bit more realism. Yeah, that's a very hard and satisfying kick. Very nice. It comes straight back and you really are able to keep on target quite easily. Now let's go check out the gas efficiency. All right, you guys know what time it is. With every GBBR, we do our gas efficiency test. And with the VP9, is no difference. I am going to take one full mag, charges full of gas, and we're gonna see how many times we can shoot through all 22 rounds per magazine. Let's go. One. Two, this gun really makes all the right noises. So a little bit over two and a half mags. Now let's chrono the gun. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and green gas. And the gun shoots at an average of about 300 FPS. Now if it's a little hot for certain countries, I'm sure Umarex will have a gun ready for your country's legal fire limits. Here we are back at the warehouse and I'm standing 20 meters away from that target down there and we're gonna see how accurate the VP9 performs. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go take a look at our results. 20 meters out, the group seems a little low, but that's just a small adjustment of the hop-up wheel. Easy fix. It's pretty tight. You're looking at about an inch and an inch and a half of group. So 20 meters out, you have a pretty accurate weapon. Back to the studio. Now there are several pistols that are very similar, whether in terms of function, style, and price. If you want to watch reviews for those, feel free to click here on the screen. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim, and today we'll be going over the Tokyo Marui Model 45 GBB pistol. Here we have the fully licensed Cybergun Smith & Wesson M&P9 GBB. We are going to review the Umarex Walther BBQ. After putting the VP9 through its paces, I can definitely say that it's a very solid gun. But, at the end of the day, it might not be for everyone. There are small flaws here and there, like this slide release is not the best looking. The sights are not going to be for everybody. Some people may like it, some people may not. And even to the fact that when I shot it, 
sometimes the slide doesn't cycle properly. And of course that may be fixed with a little bit of lube on the, on the slide itself. But all in all, it's a pretty good pistol. At the end of the day, it comes down to preference when it comes down to these striker fire pistols. And the VP9 has to compete with some pretty big boys, such as the Smith & Wesson M&P, the Wather PPQ, which it was based on, as well as the famous gun that starts with the letter G, whose name will not be repeated. So in conclusion, my thoughts are the VP9, you can clearly see that both H&K in the real steel world, as well as Humorex in the airsoft world, has put a lot of thought in bringing this product to market. The attention to detail and then their desire to really make the best product does shine through. And if you put all that aside, all of it aside, in the airsoft world right now, this is a breath of fresh air for us. The pistol market has been a little stagnant and a little bit boring. So to answer that question, is this gun solid hype or it's a solid gun? There is a lot of hype behind it and I can definitely say it's a solid gun. So for cool guns like this and many more other accessories, don't forget to check out our online store at www.rebelfairsoft.com. My name is Mark, aka Blue Steel, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one, guys.